Hello and welcome to another Create With Us. Hello. <laughs> with these. What? These are such fun little cards. I'm just going to show you what this is. It's like a little book card. Something great to celebrate you. So I open it. You're too wonderful. Happy birthday to you. How cute is that? Oh my. Okay, and we'll show this one. This is with the flowers. So these are some new papers we're using too. Wishing you the brightest birthday. And that's where you would write. So again, a super easy, super easy cards we're going to be making today. So how fun. So glad to have you join us. It is Tim and Karen Titus from Stamping on the Back Porch. And a couple quick announcements. Product shares are up. You can order all kinds of product shares from us. Uh, and I'll put a link to it. Uh, but we have paper shares, ribbon shares, all kinds of shares. You can choose what you want. And uh, paper shares come in two ways. Uh, anyway, go, go read about it. We'll just do that. And today is free shipping day. It is a totally special day. If your order is $75 or more, it is free shipping day at oh. Stampin' Up. And in addition to looking to see what is closing out the retired list, I was encouraging people to think of a couple of things. If you want to get Paper Pumpkin, you could get the six-month paid subscription. I was going to say prescription. With no shipping and um, before the price goes up. And you can order other things. Prices is going. Our prices are going up on cardstock, some of the adhesives, envelopes, things like that. So it's a great time to lock in a few prices. Or if you have a big ticket item, like you want to get the stamp and emboss machine, and I just love to send you some extra goodies if you get something like that. So call me if you have any questions. Pre prescription. That's you're always telling me. Have you taken your meds? Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, but I love sh free shipping day. We never know when that's going to come around. And it is just one day today. So keep that in mind. And I am home. Call me if you want any help or have any questions. That is awesome. And of course, if you need the catalog, we've been sending out tons of catalogs. Yes, we have. So I think we are ready. Okay. Let us we've got mail. first. We've got mail. So let's switch to this. One of our favorite parts of the week is to look at mail. Yes, it is. So we have Madeline Glover from New York. Ooh, love it. The basic strip card. I use, I make strip cards all the time. Isn't that fun? Great way to use up um, bits of paper and you just change the colors. That is just really lovely. It is. Beautiful card. Love that. And then we have Cindy Otten from California. <laughs> How adorable is this to welcome spring? Oh, I love this. Oh, and she did the inside too. How cool is that? Love this little chicky. Is that, is that just cute? It's a baby. And all the flowers. It's a baby rooster. Oh, okay. okay. I don't think they have oh, okay. combs, combs at that young I'm always, I'm getting insecure about calling any animals by its name because words have gone out the window. <laughs> People's names, object names, but that is just adorable. What a sweet spring card. <laughs> and then, oh, Diane just made the never ending card we did. Oh, that is so fun. It's so fun. I put a reel on that and oh my goodness, it just really took off on Instagram. I don't do a lot on Instagram. So if you guys are on Instagram, do come follow me. And when you post things that we make in the backport stampers, put a hashtag back, backport stampers so I can come find you and uh, follow you back. That'll be fun. Pat, Pat Nagy from Missouri. Oh, how adorable is this? How cute. So this is like a double opening. We're opening the words, thinking of, and then look how you Ooh. is on the inside. Yeah, oh, what a great idea. I love that. <laughs> so this is a card for the stinking cute category. <laughs> yes, it is. I just love it. And <laughs> I love it. Look what she did to the. Yeah, the, the, the bottom part of that. The stinger of the Made piece. it a little light there. Oh, that is so fun. And you got your catalog today. Good. I think a bunch of you. So these are. Am I getting them? Um, those, those, yes. Those okay. Bugs that did shine. Okay. <coughs> and this is from Rosemary Orla from Florida. And how pretty is this? Oh, this was paper from last year. I love this paper from the pan. And look how making a frame, and then you're still letting the paper do the work and adding <coughs> sentiment. What a great layout. That is perfect. Tim just had a swallowed wrong. So <laughs> excuse him while he runs. Sue Thompson from Illinois. Oh, this is beautiful. 
And so this is, I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of figure this all out. That is just so fun. Um, and Sue, I'm going to call you today. So if you're on here, I will give you a call right after this. Uh, this is a, an embossing folder and I'm trying to just think how it's done. So this would be layered on the other. That is really beautiful. Doesn't that just look like a spring card with all the birds? That's beautiful. Then we have Tara Wolf from Iowa. Ooh, and this is, this is a retiring stamp set. I love the stamp set. It is so pretty and it has the best words in it because they're all just little. And she's using, this is from the online special things you can order. Look at that stitched around the outside. That's beautiful. Love that card. And she'll have a note that I'll read afterwards. So that's fabulous. And then we have Mary Boltman from Wisconsin. Oh, for my mom. Oh, love it. I oh, love getting things from my mom. So happy spring. Oh, she'll love that with the flower. That's just so sweet when she thought of that. That's wonderful. Beautiful. Set that aside for her. And then we have Gail Mancisco from Ohio. Oh, I love this. Remember a while ago, we did these things with the little squares. I love what she did with this. Ooh. Look how she's got her random squares yep. and then the flowers layered on top. That is lovely. It Great. is so beautiful. Okay. Oh, that is wonderful. Uh, oh, it is for Mary. Oh, that's wonderful. We'll pass it on to Mary. Um, update on Mary. She has moved. She has a new address. I will put that up because cards are just wonderful. Uh, and so I will put that up. I just got it from her daughter. She moved three hours away to be closer to her daughter, which is nice. And then another one um, for me from Gail Mancisco. Well, how fun. Also from Ohio. And with this gorgeous set, um, the geraniums. That not that pretty? This looks almost, it looks very watercolor, doesn't it? With all the yep. little details. I love those strips. That's wonderful. That is absolutely beautiful. And it's a thank you for some goodies I sent her. And Ginger February from New York. Oh, <laughs> how cute is this? <laughs> I love it. I love this stamp. And look at with the layering circles. And look what that is just such a fun, fun card. <laughs> I think that is wonderful. <laughs> I think that is. Uh, a goose with an attitude. Yeah, I love it. And this froggy friend. Yes. And I just think that's cute how she's colored the blue and then layered it on this. Just another nice layout. It's just beautiful. Oh, that goose is great. Ginny Kaplan from California. Oh, and this is pretty. And she's done. And she's thanking me for her birthday card. And she's also on my team. A bunch of these people are on my team, which I just love. Love or my customers or their followers. I love it that we're all in this community together, whatever. I just wanted to point out, do you see how she stamped this? And then she's used the um, scoring tool, it looks like, to Ooh. do the scoring thing. Um, so it's a similar look to embossing, unless she has an embossing folder that does this, but you could also do it with scoring. We need to do that sometime, but I think that's really pretty. I don't know if you can get it that straight. Can you, or do you, do you put it Oh, well, the scoring, like we're oh, using over scoring. here. Oh, okay. Yeah, like we're using today. So it's got, yes. Nancy that's Young nice. from South Carolina. Oh, look at, how fun is this pineapple done in designer series paper? And then the gold on top, all oh, that gold paper. Ooh. That's really fun. Bright colors. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. That is wonderful. And again, uh, sending oh my goodness, for Mary, Jim. a bunch of you. Oh, that was you for Mary. Uh, yeah, yeah. thinking of him for Mary. And we're going to pass it on to Mary. Cards that we get like that, we're, we're passing on. I uh, think that's very cool. Now, let me check this out. This is, okay. Oh, this tool, come, I hope this tool comes in one piece. It's for measuring cards before you mail them. Ooh. Oh, is that pretty fun? She copied the slot at the post office and her husband made her this tool and he wow. had her make extras. This is from Linda Wallace. Is that ever cool? Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Well, I can oh. use that. What, oh, yeah, Tim, that is definitely a gift for you. You yeah. see? Okay, it doesn't need extra postage. That is awesome. However, if you put an envelope around, you've got to put it. Oh, you would, but it still would tell yeah. you. But I think that is so awesome. And then Vesta Street from Colorado for both of us, Tim. Oh, how how cute is this? And is this, oh, we just did. Oh, mm. that is so fun. And I love how oh. this closes up. We just did such a fun quilt cards class. We just did it yesterday. So you can always still go purchase the class after it's done. But we did so many fun quilt cards. And this looks like a quilt card maybe from Julie Heights, which is just really fun because she's on my team. And then our group doing that. But I love that. How it stays closed with that. So that is perfect. That is oh, well, great. how like fun. That. Oh, 
just okay. get this. Mm -hmm. Now see, look at this. Okay. Now, no. Okay, but oh. it would have to be sealed. Well, okay. I'm... Now we have to figure that. Does that mean it needs? That? We, we're going to figure it out. But what an awesome tool! But that's what they use. Is that what they use there? Yes, and and it has oh, to just fall through. And it has to fall through. So most people would say you got extra, extra. Okay. Mail. Well, I am thrilled. That is just very cool. I am thrilled. Yes, more Tim than you are. Thrilled. Yes. Okay. So for today's card, we're going to um, really. I said all you really needed was your design of series paper. Because, and see how this one has circles, because really whatever you're going to put on it is going to be whatever you decide to do. But it seemed a little silly to just put out one piece of paper on the make and take. <laughs> but if you guys remember a while ago, we did these fun accordion cards that pull out and then they stand. And I know Tim came in and looked and he says, but Karen, what's wrong with this? It doesn't pull out. And I said, that's because we love variations. This is a variation. This time it doesn't open. It's like a little book, just a short little book. You could tell a little story. And I think that that is so cool. Okay. And this one just has the circles. So any kind of die that you want, whatever you decorate it with, so you can see that all you need really is the paper. So we're going to make these two. And then... I do think at post offices, they have some discretion too. I would agree because uh, well, well, they do. you can send out 50 cards and you might get one or two back. That's just so interesting to me. So anyway, I'm going to make, I'm going to make a card for, I'm going to make this card for Tim's birthday. His birthday's in June. And this paper is, this is the zoo crew and it is so cute. There are all these images and then there are die cuts to go with a bunch of them too. So this one is all about, parties, like birthday celebrations. And so all of this is picked from this paper. One is camping, one is traveling like a scooter, motorcycle, one is dancing. It's gotta make one for our daughters. You know, we're doing this early because yes. our, our granddaughter is in a school play and it's this a musical, dancing. musical and dancing. So true, I'll true. make something out of the set for a card that will be perfect. And I thought for Tim, cause Tim just loves music. So this would work for birthday too. So I'm going to use the same thing. We're going to make this card. And so this would be your prototype. So if you like to keep something, and of course the project sheet will be available to download by tomorrow on my blog, but this is what it is. So we need a 12 inch by five and a half. And so designer series paper is perfect because it comes in 12 and then it's five and a half. So you can get two out of one. And then we're just going to score it at one and three quarter, four and three quarter, seven and three quarter. So three quarter is the... That name, name of it today. So we're going to go. And in this paper, on the back side are always a black and white design. But I'm going to get so much use out of this. So you know, of course, what I did. I fussy cut a whole bunch of these out. And so I have them to play with. So I'm going to go one and three quarters, four and three quarters, and seven and three quarters. So who's got their paper? This one you can really do along with me today. Um. And it's direction. Yes. Okay. Here is my card. How adorable. Oh, yeah. He could have a used to. Uh, I don't know if this would take. It might because it's got a little extra thickness. But do you see how in the past we've done, we've done cards like this using this same size. We've done cards like this downsized a little so that it fits on a base card. You remember that? These are all variations on a theme. And I love that. I love that we just work the paper. You have a design and then you think of all kinds of other things you can do with it. That's how I run my classes too. We just kind of take ideas and run with it. So all we need to do, I just find this amazing, is to glue or tape these two parts together. And now look, now I have a little book. My first response to one of our cards today was, this doesn't open up. <laughs> But how fun is that? One little change, and now you have a whole different fun pool, but it's really the same. <laughs> okay. Um, Bonnie, send me a message, and I or, or I will respond back to you, or send me an email, and I'll tell you, she's asking a question about something in my thing. Yes, I'd love to help you with that. Okay. So this is it. And then from here, you're just going to pick whatever 
whatever you have. So you're going to want three things the same, or at least you're going to want these hidden. So they're going to be the same thing or even a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm using words that are out of this adorable stamp set. Do I have the stamp set out here? Hmm, I meant to, but I guess, I guess I don't, but it is just so adorable. So I have these things. My happy birthday is going to go on the inside and he's going to be singing. So this is my singing a little happy birthday. <laughs> I'm just telling you this is for Tim, you know, but yeah, but it probably really isn't. I'm just you saying, because I'm thinking about, you're too wonderful. Oh, I think I'll have it already sent by then. I'll have to make him another one, but it's just a thought. And then on the front, since he loves music, do you see on this one, we have the, uh, the elephant in this one. Isn't this great? Oh, an accordion. Yes. And this and, one I'm going to pop Gina. up. And Tim loves accordions. He just gave away his accordion to someone who could make good use out of it, which mm -hmm. we are totally thrilled about. They're going to fix it up and use it. Okay. And of course, I'm looking for my, here they are. And I think that's a comment on accordion players because they, they're not bright enough to put the words right oh. side up. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing you caught that because uh, <laughs> probably <Really? well. laughs> So this is the fun part of this card. I mean, this card you can make in no time at all. So the secret to this card, you know, I just mentioned that it's just like you just kind of glue those middle two together and you have a whole different fold. I think that is so fun. So this is going to be my front card. <laughs> and now on the front, and I guess I will use this because I don't see my other. So I'm going to put the front one on first. And I'm only putting adhesive down the side so that I can place that right in the middle. Now I could add other things. Now this could be any size. This could be a large size. So that's where I always have trouble when it comes to supplies because really the size of this is irrelevant. And like we showed, they could be circles. They could be anything. They could be any dies you have, any sizes. So work from what you have. And then now the next one, again, I'm just gonna put adhesive on the left side. And to attach this, I'm just going to make sure it goes directly under here because you don't mm. want it showing through. Okay. And we'll open it. So now we have that one. And now this one can have it on all three. Now, how, how cute is this and how fast? And this you could leave blank, like another one I left it blank. Or sometimes you just don't want to write a lot, so it's going to go there. And it's the same. We're just going to just lining these up so they'll not show close it up i am done and that is just so an cute. adorable little book card it's that fun um this would be fun too uh you could put little photographs in here you know and then a little message in the back so i think this is another just totally easy one this is also a great one if you're wanting to use up more of your pretty paper so you can make room mm -hmm. for more this is just perfect okay so we have two and i just love both of those and you can see the different black and white designs on the back, you know, and they all work. So that is, oh, it's going to be one of my favorite papers. So again, this is our measurement. And so next we're going to do this one. And this is with the new Fresh as a Daisy paper, which is really interesting because it's daisies and it is um, just different colors, not the bright uh, white and yellow that we're expecting. I really like it. It's much more of an earthy color. And I've just fussy cut out of this paper. So I just let this stand alone and then wishing you the brightest birthday. And then your friendship means everything. And then you can just write in here. And so if I look at that closely, it's not directional. No. Because this. Yeah, it isn't. You know, the stems are going all different. Yeah, they kind directions. of are. They're every which way. And we'll keep it where you have Um. I don't know. I kind of like it this way. I If, if things are kind of non-directional, I kind of look to see where the flowers look best to me, oh, where more of them yes. look best. So I, I'm going to go this way. But, I remember you saying and then that. this is the pattern. So I'm going to go one and three quarters, four and three quarters, seven and three quarters. You guys, the pinwheel card we did last week, there are so many amazing samples over in the back porch stampers. I just love seeing that. And this week's going to be the same, I think, because I think you guys will make a lot of cards out of this. I just think this is so easy and so fun. Okay, so we have our base card already done. Look how quickly you could do that. And now if you're just using punches or uh, squares or anything you already have cut, you know what I like to do? So the stitched rectangles are going out. Oh, I got to put a little dimensional there. I am going to miss these dies. They're on clearance. If you don't have these dies, I just love them. 
but I happen to have those. So you use those a lot, don't you? I use them a ton. But you see, I put one on the outside so you notice it more. And then I was running out. I didn't have more of this. So then I just cut paper the same for Ooh. the middle ones. Because I figured that's fine. It still makes the front of my card like yep. the most important. But I keep things like this in a little box. So I have all kinds of things. So this came out of there. And then when I did this other one, I had a bunch of this size. So that's why I picked that. I kind of pick from what I want to put on it, what sizes I have. But you can also cut from scratch. But it really saves time. And I remember when you made one without the uh, the backing. Yes, first I did not putting backings on the inside and I asked him's opinion. That's that's, that's where her, he loves to uh, come in and yes. he said, oh no, you want the backing. <laughs> you can do it the other way. It's much simpler. <laughs> yes, um, this takes up a lot of DSP. It does. That's the downside. On the other side, if you have a lot of paper, some of us need to cut into our paper. Boy cards are just so fast and they're so colorful and they're just so lovely. So you can use some of your older ones. Is that or... a plan words? You got to cut into our paper? Oh, well, you know, we got to use up our stash to make room. But that you want to cut into our paper. Oh, cut into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, well snip, that could snip, work. Snip. <laughs> so on these, so I already did these. So I had another one like this for the front. And then these are words out of the stamp set that goes with this. And then I just, on the front ones, I like to pop them up. I don't on the inside ones because you are closing the card. So it just kind of seems like, now I would typically use the larger. Um, the larger of these, let me, but this is gonna be on my front. But see, that's pretty. It is. So they're all gonna look a little different. So I'm gonna put this on. Just on one side. And I'm going to go right in the center. So isn't that fun? And they both look nice. Now there'd be room for words here. I just didn't have more words in the set that I wanted to put on one. So I just left it like that. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do this birthday one. Uh, and this was interesting paper to fussy cut because you'll notice all these different things that I fussy cut, they're all different. <laughs> they're all different uh, but I think that's kind of fun because then you are looking at what you've laid out and thinking oh what should I put on this what should I put on this and this last one there is room to write your name so next time but not much one. more no but sometimes you don't want to write a lot more this is a really quick card so I said today's is going to be a quick video because it is it is all rather quick I'm going to put that in and on these on this one I actually made this a little smaller so that really even gives me more leeway here and then I'm going to add this one and we'll put this one on top. Okay, so we'll look at these hmm. side by here. We'll look at these side by side. We'll open them. So this would be the outside to just kind of show how they're a little bit. Oh, and I didn't do that. Oh, but this is good. Do you see how this is how we've done them before too? Mm -hmm. You could leave it like this and do this. But since we're looking at variations, this is the variation of the day. We are just adding tape in here and turning it into a book, which is still going to stand. It's going to stand like this. So anyway, I just love taking an idea and running with it. Karen's pretending that she left it like that for a teachable moment. <laughs> That's right. No. She just yeah. yeah, like I, I, like I, uh, like I really planned that well. And then... Let's look a little more at this one. So this is a little thank you card, just using, this is a new stamp set too, the sending you, uh, and then we have a, a new two and three eighths inch punch, but it's not because you're awesome. Uh, just sending you a thank you because you're awesome. And then here's what we're going to write. And this is new paper too from the one that just absolutely looks like quilting. And it is the, is it the countryside maybe? So these are three cards and now it is your turn. Ooh to see what you are going to make with this. So make sure you're on my email list so that you get the supply list each week. Cause well, you know, it might've taken me a lot of time to cut a five and a half by 12 inch piece of paper for today. <laughs> and remember it's free shipping day. If you order 75 or more and feel free to call me if you want help putting an order in, if you have questions about how to order something. My favorite. That's his favorite. This is my favorite, but they're also cute. And you know, you'd give these to two Different, they'd be different occasions, different kinds of people. Because you know who you'd send a flower card mm -hmm. to and who you would send like a cute card to. I, so I think that's just so fun. And we both felt like this is okay. Not, not, as, not as nice as the others. So see, but that's okay. It's all about experimenting and playing. This looks a little smaller. I kind of like 
a little bit bigger of an image. So I'm thinking there should be some other dyes that would work well too. But see, now we get to learn from you guys. That's the best part. So see you over in the back porch stampers. They'd be great for Mother's Day cards. Yes. And yes. wouldn't this be fun? A fun kind of card if you're giving anyone a plant. I mean, I love that too. So uh, thanks you guys for joining us. We love doing this. And thanks for coming a day early so we can dash off to Chicago. Just wanted to mention in this one, I'm going to have, I'm going to make a card out of the dancers. So I'll show you a card later of the card I'll make for my granddaughter. Thanks you guys. Bye.